we're gonna go in with this metal X C bit. Really? We go live almost every day. I'm a little sad we're not doing the 5XL Coffin Fantasy, but that's okay. Really? It's the same camera I use every single day. Really? It's the Samsung Galaxy Note 20? And they just continued the Galaxy Notes. I'm so sad. I love the Galaxies. And then next time we'll probably do a new set. Because these nails are giving what they have to give, but that looks really pretty with the Cupid acrylic. It just makes it look more bright and fresh. Cool Trella. Hopefully super fun. These are too long already. You can't punch them with the long nail fantasy. Is there another Adam Sandler movie out right now? No? Oh, there is? Uh huh. Is it a cartoon? My mom, she was like, there's an Adam Sandler movie out, and I want to see it. I was like, there is? Yesterday, we were actually discussing on live the difference of the names between the Adam Sandler in Spanish and the Adam Sandler in English. Like, Wednesday, her name is Merlina. In in Spanish. Uh huh. <laughs> and then Pugsley is Perites. And Lurch is Largo. And Gomez is Homero. And then Cousinet is El Tio Cosa. Hi, Grene. And hi, Sue. There was another one, let me see if I can remember. That was Metal XC to take down the length. I still have to take it down just a little bit more, I think. Is that a weird name, Betty Case? I think the most unusual for me name that I heard, like a guy name, was in Sweden. It was Humpus. And they told me it was a very common Swedish Scandinavian name. Pumpus. <laughs> so Claudia was surprised, she was like, that's it? That acrylic was so fast. Well, that, that's you, dear. I'm just plain, plain, plain Joe. Do you feel like you're on a runway with this music? Really? Before you started acting? Yes. Were people going crazy? Is that how you got discovered? Yes. That was your aha was moment? Was so much really? Was it like a professional professional thing or just like a freelance? Oh wow, how tall are you? Six feet? That's really interesting that they would have someone that's more on the quote-unquote short model side do runway. Really? Like a model, like a gazelle. Really? 
Because now your lips are like the complete opposite. Because yeah. <laughs> usually the high throw model is about 5758, five, that's a short model. There was a model from Australia that we used to call her the body. It, her name was Al McPherson, Al McPherson, something like that. Really pretty. Yes. Wow, you were all Claudia Schiffer. I love Claudia Schiffer. I used to think she was so pretty. I think she was German. And the other model that used to be really famous was Linda Evangelista, and she's suing Cole Sculpting. Have you heard of that? Have you ever heard of Cole Sculpting? So it's it's not really like lipo. It's basically, they hook your body up to all these machines, and it's supposed to freeze the fat, and then you pee it away. It's pretty common. You have to do it a whole bunch of times, though. And they're like, it's cheaper than liposuction, not if you have to do it 20 times to get the same result. So long story short, there is a side effect that happens like in one in one million people that instead of making your fat cells um, disappear when you pee them out, you actually gain weight. Your fat cells will expand. And she was one of those. So that's what she did so much for for Linda Evangelista. And happy Canadian Thanksgiving. I think it's like right around the corner too. Where is Alpha? The Russian manicure drove it set. Antonia Cubino Wilson is here, live from Fort Lauderdale, the dollhouse. The dollhouse in Fort Lauderdale. So yeah, she, it made her gain a whole bunch of weight and she sued them because she had to get lipo and things like that because it made the fat cells bigger instead of shrinking them. Not that. And there goes Linda eventually took modeling career. Oh my gosh! And for your porg! Are you guys watching Squid Game? Is everybody obsessed with Squid Games here? Yes, I see 28. Let's like and share the video, guys. Let's see if we can reach 100 for a giveaway. Sprinkle the video. I think because I haven't been going live consistently on Facebook, I probably messed up my algorithm. And on top of that, all the crazy stuff that's been going on with Facebook this week. Like on Monday, they were out all day pretty much. Was it Monday or Thursday? It was Monday, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Monday because that's when um, uh, What's Up was down to. On Sunday was when the girls' interview came out on TV. The whistleblower. But I feel like what she said, like, I think all of us low-key knew what it was. That, like, Instagram is really bad for you, and they like drama and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, what are you about? They, they had a big old whistleblower that worked at Facebook that she, like, uncovered all these things or brought them to light, yeah. It was mostly just, like, stuff that, like, Instagram would um, show girls images of, like, really skinny girls to kind of, like, induce um, bulimia or something like that. And that they prioritize um, political things for controversy because they get more engagement and that they censor things they don't want you to see and all kinds of stuff like that. We're going to use the diamond prep now. Yeah, it's in 16 minutes. Isn't that crazy? But I think we all kind of knew that a little already. So if there's something that Facebook doesn't like, they will take that, which is scary. But I mean, also it should be the parents, like they should mon monetize, not monetize, 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 yes, not monetize, <laughs> what their kids are doing. Because even my mom, she's like, what are you watching? <laughs> what are you talking about? And I'm a hundred. But to each their own. Like, 
I remember a while ago when kids started getting phones, like it was more like a, not as normal as it is now. Because I was like, yeah, I was like, why would a kid need a phone with like a, a planner and things like that? What appointments do they have to make? Yeah, it was like pre-programmed, right? So that way the parents could like, keep an eye on what their kids are doing. Exactly. But how do you know it's real and how do you know it's not? That's where one has to kind of like use their better judgment, I guess, but... Some people always think that whatever they see on Facebook is real because they're like, oh no, I saw it on Facebook. If it was on Facebook, that means it was real. Do you guys know any people that are like that? Like, oh, I saw it on Facebook. Then it must be real. Then. the nail prep does is it dehydrates the nail bed and it balances out the pH and then the primer is what makes it stick. And this is a non-acid primer so it will not irritate the skin or anything like that. Um, you should check out the website, there's really great product descriptions, and it also depends on, as you can see, price point. So the more expensive the drill, obviously, the better quality it is and the longer it'll last. And you have the most... Yeah, of course, the Alfa Romeo of nail drills, if you will. Because you can't compare a drill that's 100 bucks, 80 bucks, to something that's two or three hundred dollars. And there's so many things that factor into that, like for example, um, the quality of the hand paste, the battery inside of the unit, all that kind of stuff. I saw a TikTok video today actually, because I posted on TikTok. And this girl was like, I bought a drill on Amazon, and it was less than a hundred bucks, it works great. I'm like, yeah, let's talk to her like after a month of using it every day. She's probably going to have a carpool tunnel because it's going to vibrate so much because the hand paste is um, has a ball bearing system instead of it, and it's probably a plastic ball bearing system, so that drill is not going to last a long time. You get what you pay for. Yeah, for sure. So, oops, we're going to use the OG glitter acrylic hair unicorn.com, which is Cupid, and we're using the Pink Magic Fast Dry Monomer. So, this was originally a 1 2 3 go set, and then we did a fill with. Gel, which is our poly type product in a jar, and then this is a fill with acrylic just to show everybody how versatile it is, and just in case if they forgot how beautiful our acrylic systems are. And for the best shape, always stroke your product outside, side, center. Yeah, I sell acrylic too. Actually, a lot of acrylic. And we have a really cool Christmas collection of acrylics coming out later this year, too. Look at that. That's it. That's all the product application you have to do. size 16 brush which is the silver hologram one and now we have to wait for it to dry how do you know when acrylic is dry it will sound like a hard boiled egg so this one's Quite not ready. 
they're so cute, they're so short. They're tiny little baby ones. Tiger, you ever play Dreamcast? Did you ever play Dreamcast? PlayStation 2? PlayStation 1? Wow, excuse me. <laughs> Super Nintendo. Do you still have a Super Nintendo? Oh, really? I didn't even know there's five. PlayStation 5? They all kind of look like each other. Oh no, like the PlayStation 5 looks like a Wi-Fi robot. It's white and black. And I didn't feel that pretty though. I had, I had a PlayStation 2 back in the day. Fine. And it has all the games you want. Wow. My PlayStation 2 was my first DVD player. Was my first DVD player. Really? They're ex they were expensive. Until like years after I had it. But Blu-ray, I think, unless your TV is like really good quality, it doesn't really make that big of a difference, does it? Wow, so it was backlit? Wow. No? Inch? Really? Did he sell it to him or he gave it to him? What a nice sister! I live in like, how much you got? I had a kid, what did you have to give? Yes, but I feel like everybody else's looks bigger than mine. I don't know why. When someone else holds their iPhone 12 Max, it looks really big. And then mine, I'm like, why does it look so small? Yeah, and then I compare them, like, oh, they're the same size. My big ol' mittens. But I don't think that the 13 or whatever the new one is now, I don't know if it really is worth it. Like, I don't know what the new, what the new uh, bells and whistles that it has. Maybe like a slightly better camera by one megapixel. Really? I guess not alone. And right now I'm using the power top bit to blend in the cuticle and the product into the nail. It does not know. They're all region locked. That's the same thing for the games. With what? I don't know what that is. I don't have an iPhone 13. So old, Snatch, we're so boring with our old iPhones. But iPhones are made to be um, obsolete within a year, I think, though. You think I can totally tell that mine, um, the battery is not where it used to be anymore. The software? Really? A lot of the apps don't work. 
The newer apps or your older apps? running Gee. so you have to buy a new ipad if you want to watch netflix on it that's ridiculous then you only have it for good for like a, two years or three years that's just... i mean you can be worth it to go around the cuticle and really blend it in They should lease them then instead of having to force you to buy it for God knows how much money it is and then in two years have it be complete trash. so big like a brick but like you could drop it and nothing would happen to it the original like ipod and iphone do you remember the ipod video or the, like one of the first ipods that had a video on it yeah and the screen was so small Did you ever get a, um, an iPhone, like when they first first came out with the iPhone, I'm sorry, the iWatch? No? I don't have any of them, actually. Really? But you can switch out the band on it, right? Really? Uh, I think acrylic fills are so fast and easy to do, but that's because I did them for like 20 years every day, all day. And it's nice to kind of like mix it up every once in a while, because we do so many one, two, three, go demos. It's nice to every once in a while just keep everybody on their toes with our acrylic. Because the acrylic line does have a pretty good cult following, and uh, with the um, launch of the upcoming uh, Christmas collection, I just want to get everybody hyped up a little bit for some acrylic. And I think acrylic in general is really popular again right now. For people that wear really long nails, I see a lot of acrylic.
No. But I can tell you it's gonna have a lot of snowflakes and red and blue and gold and yes, with white and snowflakes. Really pretty stuff. Like a royal blue, like a Dallas Cowboys blue. I have a color like that in the um. I did recently. Because this year when we launched the Cowboy Collection, which is the Autumn Collection from Fun Gel, there was a... Oh. I think you're talking about the gel polish one. No, we haven't used the Cowboy one on yet. That one's really pretty. Really? We're going to use the shiny, which is the milky one. We're going to use milky shiny to give the nail like a very milk bath effect, and it also creates a really nice base for the stickers to apply to. the notification that I went live today too? Let me know in the comments. Yes? Awesome. Really? You're like, ding! I'm happy to go. Time for the fantasy. It's so pretty than milky, isn't it? Over fringe it's really nice. Over ombre it's really nice. Just if you want to soften anything. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take that 30 seconds. She only wants stickers on two fingers. How sad. Different colors. There's a lot of different colors. There's nine. Mm -hmm. So each one is like a planet. So I used I used this yesterday, which is um, shiny with white sequins. And then I think the uh, one that's really popular is Venus, which is rose gold. I know the rose gold. We could use this one with the Hardeen stickers, but we want black and white. Monochromatic. Very Alanis Morissette. Do you want the stickers on the same fingers or on different fingers? Let's mix it up a little bit. Do you like Alanis Morissette? I feel like, oh, that's a little bit too, uh, too hardcore for me. Let us know in the comments below if you like some Alanis Morissette. Isn't it ironic? Awesome. Our old Gwen Stefani song. When she was with No Doubt. She's so pretty though, huh? Really? You like, uh, what is it called? Ska music, right? I think she's prettier now than when she was in No Doubt. Yes. Is No Doubt still together, kind of? Like, on and off? <laughs> Open, polyamorous. But that's what kids like nowadays. like monogamy, what's that? That's oppression. No ring. They're like, you know what? You can see other people and I can see other people and it's okay. And Claudia's like, no! You're like tiny dog. Oh 
Oh my gosh, that is the worst. My dad's really old fashioned. He's like, you never honk. This is not a whorehouse. No, that song wasn't really that scum music. But like Sunday morning, do you know that one? Or what was another really good one? Spiderweb. And all the songs that she sang, Gwen Stefani, were about the guy that played guitar in No Doubt. Because that was her boyfriend for like a really long time. You didn't know that? Yeah. I think he was um Indian. The Indian guy, yeah, no doubt. That was like her first like really big boyfriend and all the songs were about it pretty much. Really? Yeah, for a really long time. But all the songs from No Doubt, like Don't Speak and all those, are about the Indian guy that was the guitar player, No Doubt. That was her first like really big boyfriend, and then they broke up. The guitar player. Yeah, the Indian one. He was like Indian or Sri Lankan or something like that. Oh yeah! Zoom, zoom, zoom! I think he was Australian though, that guy. Zeta Zapitas. Did you ever see Zeno? You never saw Disney Channel movies? You were too busy. You're like, I was in them. Cheetah Girls movie without Raven. It's like, no. Christopher Columbus didn't he land like in Puerto Rico? So, I'm not sure. a long day for a sale. Because you know Macy's always have like Macy's Columbus Day sale. Now it's Macy's Indigenous People's Day sale. Macy's no, it's terrible. I 
much as I think of Argentinian cowboys. Yeah. I'm curious. Gauchos? It's so long and full. That's inflation. These are the ones that I ever worn. Do you remember? No. It looks like something my mom would wear. Oh my goodness. It looks comfortable. In middle school, that's it. That's all I need to wear. Pantalones que se llaman gauchos. Eran populares. Pantalones que se llaman gauchos. Let us know in the comments below if you guys work out jokes in middle school. No. But it looks comfortable though. It looks like you don't need any stains. But they don't, they don't look very flattering though. In place. <laughs> Pajama jeans. I remember pajama jeans. And crochet, like what are they called? Ponchos. Ponchos. That's when you wear something that's not very flattering and just like, or something that's too tight. You're like, I need to cover up. I need to be modest. 